We begin tonight with a developing story in Durham. A man is dead following a standoff with police this morning. The call came in around 1030 for an armed suicidal man on Angier Avenue. That's where we find WNCN's David Hurst live now with more. David. Yeah, Maggie, still a very active scene here after this morning shooting. If you take a look behind me, you'll see detectives are still going through the street, just trying to find the, all the evidence they can. They say whenever there's an officer involved shooting, they're going to conduct a very thorough investigation. They got initial call this morning to this home here on Adair Avenue, or Anger Avenue, excuse me, where they heard that was threatening himself and he said he was going to kill himself and he had a gun as well. Police got to the scene here and they tried to negotiate with him but at one point they say the man charged the officers pointing a weapon at them. That's when police say the officers fired upon the man. The man who has not yet been identified was taken to the hospital and later died at the hospital. I, I think a situation like this is extremely dangerous for everyone involved, everyone who's there. So, yeah, I think the, whole, the, the time somebody's holding a gun is a very dangerous situation, a very dangerous time for all involved. The four officers involved in the shooting were placed on administrative leave, and the SBI has also has stepped in to assist with that investigation. Those four officers have not yet been identified. We're reporting live in Durham, David Hurst, WNCN News.